What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating my interpretation of a figure from Roblox doors. Let's begin today's lesson at the very top of our page and add a fold along the top of the head. We we'll start on the left side. I'm gonna curve this up in the middle, almost like drawing a half circle. It's gonna round up the top, go across and bring that down on the right. Now from here, we're gonna draw some large fangs tucked in underneath that fold. Let's start over on the left. It's gonna bend this down and then in. Keeping this back out and back up. Let's go over towards the right side and go in the opposite direction, pulling this in and then back out. Now I'm going to draw some smaller fangs along the inside. Let's start back on the left. We're just going to work our way over towards the right. Bring these across. Now the one in the middle is going to come down and then up. One small one going over toward the left, and one more on the right. Now on the side, we're just going to leave a small gap, draw another fan coming in, and then back out. Start aiming towards the center of our page. Again, leaving another gap, draw another one. I'm going to come all the way down towards the bottom and add a fold along the bottom of the head. And start over on the left, curve this down, round this out, and then pull that back up. Now along the bottom, we want to sink the teeth in towards the gum line. Leaving a gap in the center, let's start over on the left, start with a curve coming down and then up. Now move over towards the right and do the same thing. Now from the inside, I'm just going to bend this fan going out and then up. Keep that down towards the outside of that curve. Go to the right side and go in the opposite direction. Now you're gonna repeat that same process going up along the side of the mouth. Let's step over towards the left. Start with the socket. Go up and in. And back down. Now I'm gonna go back and forth from left to right to just help balance this out. Is that another one? Now I'm going to add a fold along the inside, starting underneath this fang, cut this down and then in on both sides. Now I'm going to go up in between, just continue that fold going up just to about there. And then along the bottom, I'm just going to go in between the teeth with that same curve, just following this along from left to right. Let's add another layer of teeth along the inside. Start from this line, move down and in, and back out. Add a smaller one on the bottom. Now we're going to add another tooth in between. Just going a little bit smaller, just adding that point in between the front row. Let's add another fold inside. Starting up here on the left, cut this down, in, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now I'm going to add some points along the top. Starting on the left, come down and up like a V. Just add a few more going over towards the right. Let's go to the center, add a curve going up and then down. Come down to the bottom and do the same thing. Let's add a few smaller teeth along this curve, come in and out, just adding a little point. Then adding some along this top curve, coming down, and then from the bottom going up. Now we're going to tuck the side of the head underneath this fold. On the left side, we're going to step down, curve this around the side, go up, and then bend that in. Let's line this up on the right. Go all the way around, go up, and we'll bend that in. Let's fold the top of the head in behind, stepping over toward the left, go up 
up in the middle, round this out, and then back down on the right. Now from here, we're gonna add some drips coming down from the bottom of the head. Let's start over on the left side. We're gonna bend this in and then down. Let's round this out, pull this up. Let's add a shorter drip coming down. Pull up and just bend that in towards the bottom of the head. Let's add another drip on the right side. Start by going out, all the way down towards the bottom. Round out the bottom, pull this back up. Cross and then back up underneath the head. Now I want to layer three sets of ribs around the body. Let's start with the top set on the left side. I'm going to bend this around. Just pull this in underneath that drip. Continue along the inside. Let's go underneath the head on the right. I'm just going to offset this. Coming around and then in behind. Continue along the inside. And I want to round up the tip of the rib. Now the ribs going to get wider as you go back out towards the side and pull that back up underneath the head. Let's add the second set of ribs. Starting over on the left, we're just going to tuck this around and then bend that up on the inside. Round up the tip. Now just like we did along the top, it's going to get wider as we come out and tuck that back up underneath. Let's go to the right side. Come down and in underneath that drip. Continue in and back out. Go all the way around toward the outside and just tuck that back in. Let's add one more rib along the bottom. Start from the outside. Come around, in, round up the rib. Go out and back up. Let's go to the bottom right. Come down and in. Fine, I'm just going to round this out and just tuck that up underneath. Now underneath the ribs on either side, I'm just going to bend the hips coming down and out. Round up the hips and bend that back in. Now this line on the left side, I'm just going to go in between the ribs going up. And just bend that back out toward the side. Go to the right and do the same thing. Going up in between the ribs, up towards the top. Let's add a fold across the body, going up and then down. Now we're going to draw the top half of the arms. Let's start in between the ribs, put the arm going out and then down towards the elbow. Go up to the right side, do the same thing, going out and then down. Now from the elbow, it's going to bend the arm between down and then in towards the wrist. Now from the wrist, we're going to bend the thumbs coming in. Let's start on the left side, bend this in and then down. Now from this knuckle, it's going to bend the thumb coming out and down towards the tip. From the tip of the thumb, it's going to bend this up and then out towards the base of the hand on either side. Now from here, we're going to raise the fingers above the hands. From the wrist, let's step over. Bend the finger going up and out towards the knuckle. Come down and bend that in. I'm just going to taper that back up towards the top. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Going up and out. Come down and in towards the tip. And taper that back up towards the top. Now from the inside of the thumb, let's draw the palm coming down and then up. Let's add two more fingers on either side. From the knuckle, we're going to step down, and it's up and out. Come down and in. Taper that back up towards the top. Let's line this up on the right. Now we're going to do that one more time along the outside. So step down, out and down. Bend the finger, coming down and in. Pull this up and in behind. Now we're also going to close the bottom of the second finger with a curve. 
Now I'm gonna move back up to the top and round out the shoulders. Let's start from the side of the head, then it's out, and then down. From the bottom of the shoulders, let's step up, then it's down, and then out towards the elbows. Now from the elbow, we're gonna step up and add a point. And down and up. Now I'm gonna add a spike across the elbow. So I'm gonna round this out, come down. I'm just gonna bend this down and then in on top of that second finger. Now I'm gonna add another spike along the inside of the arm. I start from the elbow, then it's down and then up. Round up the spike, come down and just bend that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Down and up, round up the tip, then it's down and in. Now we're gonna go back and separate the tip of each claw. From the knuckle, then it's up, and then down towards the inside of the finger. And then we'll separate the thumb. Now let's go back and finish off the legs. In the center, we're going to add a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Let's leave a large gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg going out and then down towards the left, go to the right and do the same thing. Now from the inside of the knee, we're going to bend the leg coming in and then down towards the heels. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Start from the left heel, start with the curve going down and out. Now I'm going to separate the base of the foot with the curve going up and in. From this point, let's step up, curve goes down and out. I just want to draw that same curve going up in behind the claw and then in. Let's do that one more time. Stepping up, legs out and up towards the outside of the foot. I'm just gonna bend this up and in behind the hand. Now I'm gonna go back up to the hips, draw the leg going out and then down towards the knee. And then just like we did with the elbows, we're gonna add another point. We step up, bend this down and up. Round out the tip, and then bend this back down in behind the arms. Now I'm gonna move in with my ultra fine point marker and add some more details. Once we finish adding in all our detail, we'll be sure to sign our artwork, and that's pretty much it. There's our interpretation of the figure from Roblox Doors. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please leave a like and share this with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.